All right, so first of all, um, it's been your turn to the host for Tourism Month. How important has that been for your province? It's important for us as a province because we have so much to offer. It is also important because um, the past few years, all people saw across the country and throughout the world were negative stories about the Northwest. But it is also very important for us to be the hosts this year because tourism is very important for our plans to grow the economy of the Northwest. It is also important for us because we are still largely a segregated province. We've got the extremely rich and the extremely poor. You also still have issues around relations between black and white. You have issues around the mining areas and you have issues around the farming areas. So tourism gives us the chance to be able to get closer together to talk a little bit together, to see what is there in the rest of the province, but also to encourage the people of the Northwest to venture a little bit outside their province and to see what is in the neighboring provinces, even before we think of going to spend overseas. And I would imagine you also want the rest of the country to come and visit uh, your part of the world. Yes, there is a lot. If we take you to Daung, we get to expose you to more water that has been there for whatever years that we know of. We, we have plans to start building and bringing back the Daung child skull permanently back home. We have a whole heritage uh, sites around Daung, Bukhosi, Khalishiwe, Buddha, Tobo, Mahura. Those were the people who fought for the liberation of this country. But also we are an artistic province. Uh, we like showing off, <laughs> we, we, we sing, we dance, and, and those are the things that we want to show off. We write, we are, we are orators, so the Northwest has much, much more to show. But there is also a lot of pain also in the Northwest. In this area, Dr. KK, remember you've got concentration camps, you still have to do something about acknowledging the pain that was caused by the Anglo-Boer Wars because that's part of our pain. Sometimes I think we are not really getting on together because we've not dealt with these other many things that we should deal with. But we must also package our experiences in such a way that anybody who comes to us can go away and remember to come back. So what sort of conversations are you having to try and heal some of these uh, past hurts and, and as you say, to try and integrate uh, your society a bit more? We started a series of um, talks and discussions in the regions, in the little villages. We have also had uh, very recently a very, very uh, well attended address by the Deputy President, Moral Regeneration and Social Cohesion, where the people of the Northwest have been talking. We want to now go out a little bit more into the white communities to begin to say the past is in the past, the future is black and white, it is South African. All right, so uh, we're talking about this economic divide and uh, we're at a beautiful part of this dam here and I'm seeing these uh, lovely boats, uh, but I get a sense that, uh, you know, the average person's not gonna be able to afford this. So how do we start to bridge that gap? We start off as government by deliberately empowering all of us by making sure that every South African has access to such facilities. Where possible, where the government is in control, by making sure that you have different differentiated entry prices, or in fact, for schools and for the old people, you make sure that access is there and it is permanent anytime. It's going to take a little bit of doing, but that is what we are prepared to do. All right, very briefly, because we run out of time. Um, has it started to generate jobs and things like that? Because as you said, it is an economic story as well. We think we're standing at 31,000 of jobs created in the, the sector in the Northwest. But we are also having plans to refurbish all our parks across the province. We are also going to be establishing new parks. And therefore, we think that by the end of it all, we should be able to do much closer to 50,000 jobs created in the sector. All right, Premier, we've run out of time, but thank you very much indeed for joining us this morning. Kia le boha. Kia le boha,